Hello, I'm Anjali, and in this video I will talk about Entrust Permissions Management. What is it, and why would you want to use it? Today, more and more companies are moving their infrastructure to the cloud. But not only are they moving to the cloud, more than 85% of the companies are working in a multi-cloud infrastructure which means that they host their services in more than one of these cloud providers. And this gives companies, of course, a lot of flexibility. But with the growth of this multi-cloud infrastructure, there's also an exponential growth of identities and resources and scripts and applications that are running across these multiple clouds. And all these different identities and apps, they all have permissions to one or more other resources. This could be your front-end application that has access to your back-end application. Another example is a user or a group of users that can access your database. And this is all great, but as you might imagine, once these identities start growing and growing, you probably are going to lose track of all the permissions that they have. And Microsoft was curious about how many permissions there were and how many of these permissions were actually used. And they did an investigation. And they found out that over more than 40,000 permissions exist across the major clouds and are growing. But only one of these permissions are actually used, which is kind of odd, right? To make it even worse, over 50% of these permissions are considered high risk. Well, what is high risk? Well, this means that somebody could access an application that they shouldn't, or somebody has administrator rights that they shouldn't have. Another interesting finding is that over 60% of these identities are inactive. And over 50% of these identities are super admins. Well, you probably can guess what a super admin can do and why this is problematic. I will share a link to this infographic in the description later on so you can read it. So what this means is that there is a permission gap. And a permission gap is the gap between the permissions granted and the permissions used. And with this growing number of identities, this will probably only get worse. Why is this a problem, you might wonder? Well, let's say that you are a super admin. This can go wrong in two ways. One way is, whoops, I deleted the production database. And you kind of want to prevent that users are deleting things or creating things that you don't want them to create or delete, like a production database. This can also be problematic when somebody finds out the credentials of your employee and wants to do bad things with it. As you can imagine, the damage can be enormous. And that's why Microsoft invented permissions management, which is a tool where you can import your data from different cloud providers like AWS, Microsoft Azure, and the Google Cloud Platform, but also other identity providers. So you can have one unified platform where you can view a list of all your identities, all the actions that your identities did, and all the resources in your company. Permissions management does all the heavy lifting for you. All you have to do is import the data of every cloud provider and enter permissions management will analyze all this data and create an easy to use overview for you. This will make it easier for you to discover the threats that rest inside your company and execute the right actions to remediate these threats. And after this, you can keep monitoring your organization by detecting anomalous behavior or inactive users, for example. But why would you keep monitoring, you might ask? Well, it is an ongoing process because employees will leave or join the company, applications will be built or removed, and all of this changes the permissions that uh, these new users have, for example. And you want to keep this in check and you want to keep an overview of how these permissions are assigned and if they are actually used or not. In permission management, you have this cool thing called a permission creep index, which is the permission gap uh, per user or per resource. And you can view this for different cloud platforms. Another cool thing you can do is you can create a trigger. And this triggers, for example, when somebody deletes an account. So you can do a lot of things with permission management. You can have a view of every permission that a user has or that a resource has. You can create alerts. 
You can create policies, all these things to make your company secure and to be sure that when you go home at the end of the day, that everybody has the permission that they should have and that you can lay in bed with peace of mind. If you want to know more about permission management, you can go to Microsoft.com and learn everything that you need to know about permission management. Personally, I think this is a great tool for gaining insights on the permissions in your organization and to see where you can be more compliant and be more secure throughout your whole organization. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it's useful. And if you liked it, like and subscribe. And I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.